What's good family? So mash the like button and subscribe. So we just saw there. Your man's Errol Spence getting the beats. A serious case of the beats from some next sparring Donny. <laughs> now I can't lie to you man, obviously I'm a bit late on this one still, but better late than never. That's what she said, <laughs> you best believe. That's what the wild bit tells the guy there. Yeah? But listen. I'm going to come with a bit of a different one here. I'm sure there's some fans who want me to get off all over Errol Spence for this. But truth be known, we'll tell a lie. I'm going to be balanced and unbiased as always. Let's take it from the rip. Did Errol Spence get a case of the beats? He did. But I'm going to say the typical boxing cliche. Oh, you know, it's, all, it's only sparring. But listen, what worried me the most is two factors. Let's, let's start off with the negatives here. What worried me the most was two factors. Number one, the fact that, because initially I thought, well, it's just sparring. Like I said, I thought, well, it's give some, take some. But then I looked to the bottom right of my screen and I saw the date was the 4th of August today. I thought, Arr! no joke. At this point, I watched the sparring footage. I looked at the date. At that point, I typed in, what is the date? Of Pacquiao versus Spence. And it, I was sure it was in August. And I saw the date was 21st of August. And that's when I thought. Oh no this is bad. Your man's Errol Spence is down super bad. Why? Because we're only three weeks out. Which means. Can't, people like Errol Spence. They're in camp for 12, 13, 14 weeks. Which means that. When professional camps. They periodise their work here. Obviously you want to peak. You peak on fight night, ideally, obviously. For obvious reasons, you want to peak on fight night. But, that doesn't mean you work rock hard until the day before fight night. You kind of taper down. So if you're in camp for 12, 14 weeks, the last quarter of that, you're coming down. Obviously, we're three weeks out. So, he should be coming down. He should be feeling better, essentially. Does that make sense? He shouldn't really be going balls to the wall. Three weeks out for obvious again for obvious reasons, or for obvious re I've heard especially in boxers in boxing normally four weeks out they start easing off and you start feeling better. Why? Because you don't want to be getting cut and getting injuries and stuff as well. So we're not even four weeks out. We're three weeks out. Or well, at the time this footage came out, it was three weeks out. Three weeks out, you should be coming down. You should be starting to feel fresher. You shouldn't be going as hard. All these kind of things. And despite that, Errol Spence, he wasn't looking sharp. He wasn't looking even a bit sharp. Now, of course, he will plan to get sharper, obviously, from now into fight week. But still, this wasn't some... He weren't in there with Canelo Alvarez, where you can say, well, they're... You know what I'm saying? Where they're similar level. I don't even know who this Don is. And that's not to say that uh, random Dons can't get good work on you. Because they can. But. It's kind of a bit iffy. Especially when we consider the opponent. That Pacquiao is. Pacquiao will be watching this. And he will be rock hard. At the thought of that. Because I have to admit. You might know. Part of my reservations about this fight. Is what 
strategy Errol Spence will bring. If Errol Spence comes to be scary and run around, it's going to be a hard night for Pacquiao, I think. Pacquiao going to be chasing. Pacquiao don't really like to be chasing. I can't think of too many fights he enjoyed chasing. I mean, for example, look at Adrian Broner. Pacquiao spent the whole night chasing. How did it go? Not so well for Pacquiao. In as much as he won, clearly, but it wasn't an entertaining fight. It wasn't a fight where you can say Pacquiao dominated as such. Yes, he won every round, but I mean dominated in as much as he wasn't able to get his work off, was he? Because Broner was running. Pacquiao truly dominates fights when he's able, obviously, to get his shots off. If someone runs like Broner did, or like Mayover did, he's not so effective. He's not someone like, for example, Canelo Alvarez. Alvarez would cut the ring off against Broner and get to work. Pacquiao, for some reason, and it's not for some reason, it's difficult to do. Cutting the ring off is a mentality. Mike Tyson, very few fighters can really do it well. You have to almost commit to getting hit. You have to almost say, you know what, I'm going to have to take a few on the way in. Or you can do the Mike Tyson approach and be slipping on the way in, but that's extremely rare. Which is why someone like Alvarez, you can see it. When he's coming up against Sergei Kovalev, his elbows are in, his chin's down, and he's coming forward. He's almost perfected the ability of parrying and stuff like that, so he's you ain't catching him with much. But either way, whether you're parrying a shot or not, you're still having to... You've still got shots coming at you. You still have to accept a shot. I'm going to have to be defending shots, bottom line. I'm going to have shots coming at me. When you're cutting the ring off, you have to accept that. I'm going to have shots in my face. Fighters don't like that. That's not natural. Anyone who's box knows, it's not nice having shots coming in your face. Which is why most fighters don't, don't end fixing to implement to cut the ring off and really get to it. Alvarez, to his credit, ever since the May of a loss, he's kind of perfected this. He's got over that hump. He now knows. You have to commit, because guess what, in the May of a fight, he didn't commit, and he ended up sitting there somewhat really like Pacquiao does. That's what happened, look, let's call a spade here. What did Pacquiao do against Mayover? Sit there at mid-range and just look a bit lost. He didn't commit. And Alvarez kind of learnt from that and has moved it on. That fight would be really interesting now, now he's mature, but obviously it's not going to happen. But what I'm saying is Pacquiao's never really become that out-and-out pressure fighter. Who will chase you. Fighting someone like Marquez. Who's meeting you in the centre of the ring. That works out for him. But Pacquiao's never really committed. To cutting the ring off. And consistently cutting the ring off. Um, closing distance. And getting to work. He ain't that kind of guy. Which means that if. Errol Spence comes to run. It's going to be like the Broner fight. But. Errol Spence has a better jab. And he's, he, even if he does run. He'll be more aggressive than Broner will. But it'll be a hard night's work for. Manny Pacquiao. When you look at people like Alvarez and De La Hoya, what they did well was get over that hump and just get to it. And I hope, obviously, it's hard to teach old dogs new tricks, but I hope he does get that for this fight. If Errol Spence runs. However, to be fair to Errol Spence, in this footage, he weren't doing loads of running. He was actually meeting his sparring partner. Even though his sparring partner was giving him the beat, he was still meeting him. More or less towards the centre of the ring. But I have to admit, he does look a bit he did look a bit sluggish. I'll be lying if I sit if I said he weren't looking sluggish. He looking sluggish. He hella sluggish. He looked like he was in the middle in the middle of a camp, not coming towards the end of it, not three weeks out. He looked he looked drained in there. He looked he didn't look sharp is the best way of putting it, bottom line. And Pacquiao will be rock hard at the idea of that. Because if you get Pacquiao in some of them pit situations, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, it's anyone's fight. Although Keith Thurman said that apparently Pacquiao's, this is his sign off fight. But I don't know about you, man, yeah, but some people have interpreted that to be a bad thing. Ah, oh, he come in just for the what? But listen, if you've got a political campaign, I don't know about you, man, yeah, but the best political campaigns are when you win a fight, innit? It's no good being a loser. No one, obviously Pacquiao's loved anyway, but people... If they, if they see Pacquiao get knocked out or get beat up for 12 rounds, that's not going to inspire no one to win. So I, I look at it the other way. People are saying, oh, well, he's got politics coming, so he can't be training properly. I look at it the other way. I think Pacquiao's planning to use this fight as a platform in as much as, look, I've just put my record winning. I've just beat the best in the division. 
I've just done what Floyd didn't dare to do. Because I'm sorry, in my opinion, it doesn't work the other way. If he goes in there and gets schooled, how does that... How does that... That doesn't help your career. Yes, it'll be a big pay-per-view fight, but it ain't going to inspire no one to vote for you, is it? If you go in there and get murked... So, on that basis, in my mind, Pacquiao's doing this to, to go out with a bang, in my opinion. He's not doing it just to, oh, well, let's get some more eyeballs looking at me. No way. I don't believe that. That, that wouldn't be a good strategy at all. To just go in there and lose. No way. But putting that to one side, the other factor, I mentioned how one factor was the fact we're nearly at the fight now, which is going against Harold Spence. But also, another negative factor of this sparring footage is the fact they actually removed it. Yeah? It's one thing. And this is what a lot of these companies don't realise. Same with MTK, as I've exposed recently. A lot of these companies don't realise that when bad things happen, the best thing is, is just to ride it out. The minute you start deleting Wilder making people delete interviews and delete this, delete that, it shows how you're really feeling. It shows Errol Spence and his team are feeling vulnerable. They're not feeling sharp. So more so than, listen, if they'd left this sparring up here, I would have concluded, well, listen, Errol Spence is just in a hard block of work. Simple as that. Nothing more, nothing less. But the fact that they deleted it tells me that they're reading more into this. Like, oh, we were looking bad. We are feeling bad. We aren't feeling so good. Get rid of that footage. And next, think about it. If, it's, if you're genuinely just in a hard block of work and tired, it is what it is. You don't care, do you? But the minute you start censoring things and deleting them, that tells me that there's something more going on, or potentially there's something more going on here. Because if your fight is A-OK -okay and 10 out of 10, you wouldn't give two hoots, would you? You wouldn't care less. So, okay, let them think that almost, wouldn't it? It would almost be a trap. Let Pacquiao think that we're looking real bad. But they didn't play that move. They played the get rid of it quickly. Which tells me their man isn't 10 out of 10. Because like I said, bottom line, if your man is firing on all cylinders 10 out of 10, or even 9 out of 10, you don't care what's going on, do you? Why would you? you got the younger man and whatever else. Younger, bigger man and whatever else. Who cares? He can watch all the tape he wants. We've got the younger, fresher man. That works well until you haven't. <laughs> until you haven't got the fresher man. Until you've got the man whose head's all scrambled from a 200 mile an hour car crash. <laughs> Oops. I'm telling you now, I've noticed some signs in Errol Spence. His eyes don't line up. He'd be looking like Tevin Farmer sometimes, I swear down. Errol Spence be looking like Tevin Farmer sometimes. His eyes, I think they lost they lost the uh, orientation. They were kind of off-centred. His eyes need, he needs realignment surgery. His eyes are a bit scrambled. And I've also noticed it, some of his movement is a bit more stiff now. Some of that brain trauma is kind of, it's burnt, it's rounded the edges of his of his synapses. His neurons aren't firing the same way they used to. He ain't moving as fluidly. And all I know is, Pacquiao, if you're not moving as fluid, Pacquiao is rock hard for that. He's, he's there for all of it, 100%. But anyway, we'll find out. The great thing is, we haven't got long to wait. But what I will say is, given their reactions a bit suspect, deleting it, don't be surprised if we get a pullout. Let me say it right now. Do not be surprised if we get a pullout. Yeah? Don't be don't be shocked at all. Because this kind of behaviour, why are you deleting the sparring footage against when you're about to fight a 45 year old man? You should be putting more footage out there saying, listen, couldn't give a f what he's looking at. He gonna get it. This old dude gonna get it. Wow. Spence is down super bad right now. He going through it. He team going through it. 100%. They scary. They center in footage. They missing. It's bad. Super bad right now. Tells me Team Spence and Errol Spence are feeling vulnerable. They don't feel like they can give their opponent any edge. Not a good look. Let's see how it plays out anyway. No doubt. Me, I'm going to put some money on Pacquiao. Not because I'm expecting to win, but that's where I, 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 got a, I don't know, I've got a weird feeling about this one, no doubt.